Tick, Tick, Boom, if you haven't seen it, is is up on Netflix. Andrew, is uh, he won the Golden Globe for his performance in the movie, nominated for a Critics' Choice and Screen Actors Guild Award. What was it like, uh, what was it like Andrew, doing, because you, you were new to musical theater, but obviously you know theater, you know who these people are. What was it like doing the Sunday sequence where suddenly here you are doing your first, you know, musical and you're surrounded by Joel Gray and Cheetah Rivera and Bernadette Peters. Who did you hang out with? Who was mean to you? <laughs> Who helped you? I want to know the, I want to know the whole thing. <laughs> you on the gossip. Oh my gosh. I wish I had like dirty dish gossip to serve to you. <laughs> like but Bernadette, about Peters, Bernadette you. Peters. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. She was such a bitch. No, like she was like, she's that moment where I got to, bring like kind of break the fourth wall and and bring Bernadette to the front of that stage was one of the ultimate moments of this film for me. And, and because it was so multi-layered, it was like, I was honoring John. Well, first of all, we were honoring John with this song because he, like when he was alive, it was only ever him that was singing it solo, this song Sunday. And and that was an homage to Sondheim, right? It was a kind of an, an attempt to honor a sundime with a kind of pastiche of his work and so this song honors sundime which we can't honor sundime enough um whether he was alive or in, in his recent passing um and 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 then lynn's thought with this sequence was i want to honor john honoring sundime in the way that he never got to do it because it was again it was always just john alone at the piano on stage with his one solitary kind of rough and tumble voice just trying to belt it to the back row <clears throat> and obviously now we know that you know for most most of us are aware now that john passed away at 35 and didn't get to see the first preview of rent he died the night before the first preview of rent so for lynn it was it was like i wanted to fill this song up with all of John's musical theater heroes, past, present, and future. Like even people that he didn't know existed yet, but would be fans, would be a fan of now, like the Skylar sisters or Beth Malone or, and then of course you have Andre De Shields and, 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 and Joel and, and Cheetah and, and Bernadette and everyone you mentioned. <clears throat> and the idea that Lynn wanted to make sure wherever John was, if he was out there in spirit, he would be able to hear it his song being sung by this chorus of musical theater royalty and he would be able to hear it and hear it and receive his flowers at the back row of the galaxy, wherever he may be. So that's very, very beautiful. And then you have honoring Bernadette on behalf of the whole theater, theatrical community. Like I felt like it was like, I felt everyone's love and praise and um, um, a kind of reverence coming through me. And I was like, I need to communicate this to her because we, you know, who, you know, who knows how much time we all have together. And I knew I was only going to have one day with her, <clears throat> but I tried. And, and not only did I have to sing with these people, I had to conduct them. I had to act as if I was um, powerful enough or talented enough <laughs> to, um, to hold this choir of uh, the best in, in, in musical theater history in, 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 you know, in, in these phrases of these songs. And I had to do it for John and it was, but Lynn really set the tone because, you know, it's, everything's Disneyland for Lynn. So he wanted, he created musical theater Disneyland for the days that we were shooting that sequence and everyone was revered. Everyone was telling stories, you know, it was time in the time of COVID. So they, we had to also be kind of careful in social distancing. Um, and also, you know, we, no, none of us wanted to get Joel Gray sick. We can't get Joel Gray sick. There's no way. So National it was treasure. This, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was it was this kind of surreal mix of so many things happening that kind of resulted in me being able to get through it because I could just be of service to everybody and of service to John. But if I, if I if for one second I had been aware of what was going on. I would have melted into a puddle of musical theater bliss and I would never have been seen again. It would have been over. 